started two years ago and I had the pleasure to be a part of this group since the very beginning. I think we all were not sure where it would go to, so it was a kind of unique setting of uh, the telco sector as well as financial sector, of authorities as well as uh, private sector. And I think we, uh, the first meeting, spent some time to kind of get to learn uh, and know each other, learn to know each other and see how this journey can go. And I think a unique uh, possibility was to really foster the exchange between the two type of authorities uh, and also bringing in, of course, the private sector view, um, which is essential for digital financial services. So we, uh, within the focus group, split up in several working groups and I had the pleasure to co-chair the interoperability working group together with other colleagues. And uh, one of the big advantages was that we uh, really uh, saw how interoperability can improve uh, the access uh, to uh, financial infrastructures and themselves for the service providers, um, as well as then, of course, in the second uh, round to provide increased access to those who are currently unserved. So I think uh, the term unbanked uh, for the time being uh, might be uh, probably the, one, the wrong one. It might be unserved because uh, they are, of course, bank uh, so providing these type of services as well as uh, non-banks, especially if we look at payment services. Mm -hmm.